my channel. Today I feel like shit. Um, but on a happier note, I guess I'm going to try out Astroneer. And it is not the first time I'm playing this. Um, it's only the second time. But I wanted to get um, this. This is my saved file here. I wanted to get a, um, a little more experience with it. Uh, and I'm glad I did because I felt like a freaking retard whenever I started playing it. So we're going to go ahead and start this. Um, as you see up there, it was, it's a pre-alpha build right now, so um, there's still a lot of, a lot of work that's going to be done to it. But I've played for around about six hours for the last two days, um, and it actually seems like a pretty fun game. So, I was kind of curious if you always land in the same spot, so. And... No, you do not. I don't even think this is the same planet that I was on before. So that's a plus. Okay, so anyways, you hit tap to get out of your little pod here. W-A-S-D is to move. And then you've got tethers, which is this little line here um, that's to keep you um, full of oxygen and uh, help regenerate your power and stuff like that. So we need to, there's a little ship over there. I kind of want to go see if there's any compound, which is something that you need to make your tethers. So we're going to run over here real quick. See what we can find. I don't see anything, but we may have to dig. So you hit E to start digging, and there is the compound. It looks like, uh, yeah, aluminum. Just grab it, put it on your backpack here. It's a pretty good start. I've got a chair for whenever we want to build our rover, but I am going to leave it there just because of the fact I have nowhere to store it at the moment. So, as you can see, we're running out of oxygen pretty quickly. That's where the tethers come in handy. Get back to our pod. And let's create some tethers. Q brings up your backpack. Uh, cycle over. And there's your tethers. Just hit the little um, exclamation mark. It'll, it makes 11 tethers per compound that you make. Oh, that one was a titanium. It wasn't a compound. Okay, that's cool because titanium is rare. So, Anyways, we got two aluminum, one uh, titanium and we've got 11 tethers so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go explore this over here if you press T that brings up your tether uh, to place down we've got some resin here which will come in handy here in a minute there's some more I want to go check out this thingy here I don't know what it's called I'll show you guys in a minute what it does should be pretty close to it. Um, bring up E. And there you've got copper. I think it's on there. Is it on there? Yeah. Okay, so we got copper. Let's see if you if you bring up your your tool digging thing, whatever it's called, your uh, land shaper, shaper, I think is what it's called. Looks like it's not going to work. Uh, we got organic matter, which I have yet to figure out what that's even for. Um, why isn't this detaching? Usually it detaches. Like the first three bigger balls up here detaches. It is what it is. So let's not waste any time on that. There's our resin, which I will show you guys what that's used for. We are pretty much going to try and collect as much as possible right now so we can start building our pod, our base as you would call it. What do we got? We got one. We need 
three resins. Let's go ahead and use that way I can. Alright, let's go ahead and extend this little thingy here. Right click, or I'm sorry, left, left click. And then ugh, turn off um, resin. Put that down in there. And that'll extend it even further, which you will need two additional resins for um, creating something cool. So. You're not actually creating something cool, but like, um, and one more. Come on, we got what'd we get? Lithium, or what? I think that's what we got. Was that what? It, got lithium, then I'm going to go ahead and cr try and create a battery. Titanium is what we created, or what we got, so let's see. I don't think we can get, oh, we can do the generator, though. Okay, so let's create the generator. It goes there. I don't know what goes in that yet. Um, let's see, what else can we create? We can create the wind vane which powers your, um, your base. I'll show you guys here in a minute. Let's see here. I don't think we can do anything else. So, um, let's get that, the rest of our, uh, the resin we need. My goodness. two resins. Go ahead and place them. Oh, we got three resins. Okay, what's going on? Did we have them both in there? Oh, I see what we did. Put titanium. So now we are left with this big, I don't know, developing stage pretty much. So you've got your research, your printer, your smelter, vehicle bay, and back to printer. So um, I kind of want to get my research going because you do find a lot of like cool stuff, but you have no idea what to do with it. So we need to go find some compound. Since we already have a line of tether going out this way, we're going to go ahead and follow it. Let's see if we can find some compound. These little doohickeys here, they give you um, power. So that comes in handy whenever, you, whenever it comes to... Uh, Digging. So we got some there. This place is definitely prettier, prettier than my last planet that I was on. The flowers and whatnot. Still quite unsure as to why it lags so bad for my computer because it's not like a very um, detailed graphics going on here. So I don't understand. Look at that. It's not even, it's just little squares on the ground and a few little balls here and there. I don't understand. I mean, the flowers don't even look like real flowers. 
the only thing that I can think of is the moving stars up here. But even those are just triangles of different colors, so I don't, I don't know, that makes no sense to me. Oh, crap, we've got a storm coming. So with the storms, you need to head back. Um, because if the storm is strong enough, it will actually start um, blowing debris all over the place. And if they hit you, then um, it knocks some of your life down, your health points. But you currently don't have a, a bar to actually pay attention to that. So um, the best thing to do is just to run back to your pod and then you hit tab and you sit inside the, the pod until the storm um, goes away. Some of them last only like a few seconds, others will last a little bit longer. Um, there's been a few storms that by the time I was able to run back to my pod, I was just kind of like, are you kidding me? It, it stopped. So, um, this one seems a little bit longer. But it's not giving me the option to hop in. There it goes. And that's where it also saved your game. Okay, I see there's the debris, the little boxes flying around, which I have no idea where these boxes come from because I don't see any boxes around me, but whatever. I suspect later on in the game they'll actually add um, damage probably to um, your uh, base from the storms. I think I see some uh, compound over here. Which would be kind of cool. Uh, but right now it's it's a pretty basic game, but it's still very in-depth, like, you've got to, I don't know, you've got to find all these different resources and stuff to, oh god, I'm out of tethers, okay, so shift is to sprint, but anyways, um, you find all of these resources to do different things, and to build up different things, and then there's also, uh, things that you can find that you have to do research on like you have to actually go down in caves to find some of this stuff but you do research on it and you figure out what it's for I found in my previous game I found two of them and from what I read there's like six all together on each planet but I don't know exactly how many planets are out there um, so let's hurry up and get back at least to the furthest tether that we had. Run! There it is. Okay. So, we'll place some more tethers down. Oh wait, we gotta create them first. Okay, so we'll save the other one because we need it. Um, let's go ahead and place down the tethers because there is quite a bit of uh, compound out in this area. Which I'm hoping I didn't lose it already. No, it's right there. Looks like it's snowing. See, and each planet, <coughs> excuse me, each planet I think looks different. Um, different, uh, which obviously it does, because like I said, the previous planet I was on, it was more like a desert type planet. It had a very limited amount of greenage going on. Um, but I'm curious about the other planets, and I'm actually very curious as to what they're going to decide to do if they are actually going to add alien life out here, um, both good and bad, it would actually bring the game a little bit better, as well as farming, um, like uh, eating, 
stuff like that, you know, you don't do that now. And to me, if this is going to be a survival-based game, then that's what it's going to need. It's going to need something to where, like, your health, your eating, your, I mean, if there's any kind of injuries, you know, stuff like that, then you've got to literally try to figure out how to survive on this planet. But we'll see what, the, what this comes down to. Um, okay, so we wanted to do... Research. So we needed two compounds for that. And then you just click on this and it will bring it up. Mm, yes, you have to supply it with power. So, and that's what I'm going to show you guys here. Um, You can also move this to where it's sitting on this, however, um, we don't have anything to research, so we're going to go ahead and look for more compound, or we'll gather more compound and create one. This way I have this wind vane here that will completely um, help regenerate my power faster if I'm not connected, So, or even if I am connected, it'll still regenerate it. But anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and add another extension to my pod. So we just click here, and we need resin, which should be right over here. Be careful not to fall in the hole, because it is a pain in the butt to get back out. And once I empty this hole, I'm actually going to... Um, level it out so that way I don't have problems. And let's, no, see the wind's not blowing so that's not going to help me at all. Did I get at least one resin? Yes, I did. Okay, so that'll work. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and let's level this out. Press control. Oh no, you gotta turn on your your land creator thingy, whatever it's called. And hit control and it'll take away those arrows in the circle. And then oops, wrong button. Find a flat space and drag it. It's pretty basic. It's like any kind of land tool on any game. Wait for the power. And then bring it some more. Let's see if the wind would start blowing a little bit, which you can hear it a little bit, but it's not triggering my... Uh, my wind, my, my wind vane, I guess you could call it. I guess that's what it's called, I'm not sure. And we want, I just want to pretty much get these areas, that way I don't randomly go running through them and fall down you can hurt yourself that way obviously okay so what we need here we needed um we needed okay we got our resin so let's go ahead and place that um we needed compound for the other windmill thingy so we'll run back out oh my goodness attach attach and attaching. Normally it will attach. Oh. Very tired. Because I was. There it goes. 
Okay, so that's going to bring us um, out further where we need two more resins, but we're not going to fill those with resin. We're going to fill those with the wind vanes. So um, close our quick bag and let's run back out and grab some more compound. Compound is a pretty... Um, pretty common thing I guess you could say to use in this game uh, when it comes to building some of the basics. We got one laying here still and I know there was another compound source here somewhere. Let's make sure we got all. No we did not. So trigger the, that thingy. There's another compound. And it looks like that is tapped. So, um, where was the other one? I'm kind of curious as to what that thing is over there. There was another one here somewhere. Like I said, fill it in. I have to. Sorry. See, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, just enough to where you're not going to forget that this is out here and, and run into this giant hole. See, that's where those power crystals come in handy, too, when you run out of um, power. Oh my god, come on! Okay, I think we got it all. That's good. So let's go ahead and place another tether and head our way over here, because... Where'd it go? Right there. I think it's, I think it's full of oxygen. Um, oops. Make sure your tethers are connected to each other, otherwise they'll be pointless. Oh, there's another one out there too. What is that? Okay, so let's go ahead and take this. Oh sweet, it's resin. I've never seen the resin deposits. What about this one? Oh, is it tapped? So let's go check this one. It's like an outer space Minecraft, which is really cool because I was big into Minecraft and I'm out of, oh god, I'm out of tethers. Are you freaking kidding me? I, I thought I was getting... Okay, so apparently I was wrong. That's part of playing the game. Brand new like that. We had the uh, stuff for the wind vane. So that's going to go there. So let's go ahead and create some more tethers. created a solar. Oh my god. I feel like shit today and this is not helping me at all. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I guess that kind of works because then, well, I'll just show you guys in a minute. Um, we obviously don't have any room in our backpack, so let's head back to base. Whoops.
see. You can detach from the tethers for a short distance. Um, a little longer than a short distance. But anyways, um, it's not going to hurt you any. So, okay, so let's put, let's put our wind vane and our solar panel. This way, and you see, it gives power to this, which means now we have power for research. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It will fill up each one of these, I'm assuming they're like batteries, but it'll fill each one up. And then whenever you do your research, it's going to use up the majority, if not all, of your battery. Um, so it's good to have something like that. Otherwise, you're out looking for those uh, yellow crystals all the time, trying to power your um, appliances or <laughs> gadgets or whatever you want to say. So let's find our first thing to research. which can literally be like even just as simple as a tree, which I'm not even seeing. So, what is this big thing out here? Did I create tethers? I did. Okay, so there's some more compound. Let's go check out this. See, and this is what I love, like, you, it's so random, you don't know what you're going to find. At first I was a little skeptical about the game, like, reading some of the reviews, there's a tree out there, reading some of the reviews, um, how it wasn't recommended, and, you know, all this other stuff. But with it being pre-alpha, there's not much to expect. I mean, it's a fun game. And I did see someone say something about how they played it for like six hours. And they beat everything. And we found our first <laughs> little gadget here. But anyways, they beat everything they possibly could. Or they did everything they possibly could. And they were bored with it. So the way the developers, they're actually... Um, ooh, I think we found a second... We found, I think, two. Okay, hang on a minute. So anytime you find something strange like this, you want to dig it out to see if it, if if it's something that you can grab. There's going to be a blue circle that comes around it, and I'll show you what you mean. What I what I mean here, this little thingy here is a collectible, which is our going to be our first research item. And I'm super stoked because I have not been able to research any of these yet. On my previous planet, I didn't build something for research. So, let's get this baby back to the... Um, back to our camp. A little tricky, too, because you got to carry it. Um, but get the hang of it after a while. Alright, so we're on our way back. Got our first research. Let's go ahead and research this bad boy. Can't forget the compound that's sitting there. And yes, you do run a little bit slower when it comes to um, carrying something like this back. Okay, so place it in there. Oh my goodness. And then hit that. And it's gonna it's gonna figure this thingy out, which kind of looks like a barbecue grill to me. A fuel condenser. Okay, so where did it go? I'm confused. It 
doesn't go back in your book bag, so I'm assuming it's something that you can create. Um, I don't know. It's not there no more. It's not there. fill that back in because if you guys didn't notice I almost ran back into it. Come on, all the way before we run out. There we go. Okay, so well, that was kind of exciting, I guess. Um, I was kind of hoping for like something a little bit more spectacular, but a fuel condenser, I guess, is pretty cool. Yay. Compound. Every time I see that word, I just think of like, I think of poo and hippies and stirring garbage in this wooden thing. Okay, so here, over here is these, um, these yellow crystals that I was talking about. I don't even know if they're called crystals, but anyways, um, to harvest, you do the same thing you normally do. harvest and it will give you power like so okay go into your book bag here because I'm kind of curious as to if this goes up here if not then it's probably the fuel thing yeah see it doesn't go up there okay whatever um, so anyways we've got fuel and then this little thing here, I don't think really gives us anything, so, um, and we've still got fuel there on the ground, so, yay. Um, wasn't there, because we need more resin, so what do we have in our backpack? Okay, so we have plenty of resin, so let's go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and head back again. I'm sorry, guys. I was kind of stoked about the whole... Ooh, there's our first cave, too. Hang on a second. Let me put a tether down. Oh, uh, there we go. Um, I was kind of excited about that first research that we had, and so now I'm just curious as to if that gives you more things to build. So that's why we need the resins, that way we can expand our base more and try to build something cool. Uh, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and expand it from our windmill thingy here, wind vane, and then place our resin. We've got enough resin, so we'll be able to do this. Place our resin. Tricky little things. Okay, so that's gonna give us two more. We'll place it here. Why is it doing that? Why is that's strange? Nothing is more aggravating than something that won't click. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so basic stuff. Fuel con condenser, so that's that's what it is. Great. <sighs> okay, I'm glad I figured that out. Um, however, obviously it does give you fuel, or not fuel, but power from our wind vanes, and then we need copper. Which looks to be something, definitely something we're going to have to do in, um, we're going to place this here on the side. Organic matter, okay. This way we have room. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, in the next episode I think we'll go ahead and find, um, we'll go ahead and explore that cave. Because I know that there's a whole bunch of stuff down there 
um, things that we need, and I don't know, I'm kind of excited. This is the first episode of Astroneer, and hopefully many more to come, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.